I like the green. I like the green. Yeah, the green's not green. Is not. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in Farringdon, aka Hatton Garden. Two new protects that we've had in. The watches ain't cheap, so you gotta make sure that you're doing the right stuff. Brand new, 2024. We're then gonna move on to my personal favourite, the Platinum Day Day 40. You like this one? That's what you gotta do though, innit? Yeah, that's, that's it. Alright. Yeah, you see that get, one as well? Do you wanna stick thing? to stealing gold or. No, I'd want any one to be fair. What's this, 26? 26? Yeah, these are all 26. 31. Yeah, this one's 31. The rest of these are 26, 26 as well. Apart from these two. Yeah. Only thing is, I don't know how big I missed it, you know. If anything, you can give it to her as a present and then I'm you can bring her in and we'll get size it. it up. Yeah. Take the links out, put one in if need be. You say your best seller is this one? Yeah, this one here, man. And then this one has it. Another look at this one? Yeah. Well, we've got stainless steel ones, you can like a mixture of dials. You can have anything, really. So this one's 92. That's probably one of the best sellers, though. Yeah. We'll probably done about 30 pieces, 40 pieces in December alone. That one. Where did you get the AP from? AP Direct? Yeah, AP. Yeah, nice, man. You're in there now, yeah? Yeah. Skeleton case back. Again. Skeleton case stuck in yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, nice man, nice watch. Sharp boy, have you worked there? No. Yeah, sharp. One. Oh, what's next, what's next AP? I don't know, you know. You asked them for anything? I kind of gave them... We don't want to go up stuff like mad and that. No, but if they, if they call me up and say they got something, then I'm yeah. going to go there and get it. I think you like skeletons, but then it's a bit maybe a far reach yet. Yeah. Well, then you ask them, huh? They got a nice one, uh, the frosted one. This is a skeleton though. Yeah, oh, this, what, yeah, what? Oh, it's it's a skeleton. I've asked you for it. Yeah, I asked that for that, but so they're gonna see if I can get it. Yeah, but it's a, bit, it's a bit of a reach. I mean, I was thinking pain skeleton. You're asking yeah. frosted skeleton. No, 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 frosted I asked him, yeah. Who heard that? Um, Connor Ben. Yeah, Connor Ben. Connor Ben got one then. Purple dial, yeah, yeah. frosted white gold. The bollocks. But yeah. I bought it. I, I'll give him. This is like in lockdown. I'll give him like a small drink of retail. Kept it, kept it, kept it. It went up like stupid. Didn't sell it. The mock on my down in it. I just sold it last week. Okay. I sold it to a trader and then I took a protect off him and some money. Okay. Yeah, I should have resold really at the hype though. Yeah. It's like, why did I hold on really for it? I should have really just got out of the hype, but then yeah, I think yeah. you, who knew where it was going to finish? Yeah. But that's lovely watch though, man. This one less than 100. Oh, like older. Yeah. This one's less than 100? But yeah. How so? It's not even going to fit on my wrist. Oh. Uh, what do you see what? Uh, I like the green. I like the green. Yeah, the green's the, nice. The green. But it's nice where you could mix, you can just mix it when you want it, they're easy yeah, to take off. Yeah. You, all you need is your own little screwdriver. Yeah. Ten's like the, the cheaper one. Not cheaper than the five, but it's yeah. the cheapest, most common. Yeah. But if you're going like the next jump up to 30, then you're going like 140, yeah, 150 yeah, yeah. grand. I buy it for his fun, but it is what it is, diamond iron, it's like yummy, yeah, nice, yeah, it's yeah, nice, yeah. like hold up my yeah, and all that. Yeah. The buying that, like clean, but if you're buying for investment, Go for a plain one. Yeah, get, get a plain yeah. RM30. That's not all of these buses, you're just buying it for the fun. Yeah, they're just for the fun, man. Buy it, but get, if I was you and you want an RM, get a, get a Rose RM30. Mm. I'll probably get you one. I'll probably get you one for like 145. It's got his one there now. 145. Uh, what kind of strap? It's on a white at the minute. Or grey. Dark grey or white. So I'm, I'm asking 4650 on the champagne because the black one's a bit rarer. I'm asking like 4750. 4650. What's that? 750. Yeah. Same, 460. Anything champagne, same. 460. Oh, any year. Any year, that matters, man. Okay, so we said we're not getting this one. No, not out on the air. Done. Can you put an arm in here? It looks better as well. Bit to bit, isn't it? You know, I'm obliged to sell it. I mean, if you want to put a bid in, mate, put a bid in. This ain't going to take. It's all, I think close to what I'm asking, to be honest. What do you reckon, though? What should I put in for it? You know what, I think it's not going to be late. I think it's not late. I prefer the plain ones. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I said it. Yeah, plain. Like someone's sending the rose gold one now for like 110. For a rose gold one. Rose gold yeah. 10. We're getting that for like, a lot cheaper, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I don't know. If you want RM, I'll take, go for, go for um, go for the rose 30, man. Right, Much better yeah. your wrist, it's a fucking weapon. It's like a big wrist, like, My power's got 30, he looks, he looks the bollocks on it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Factory down, ladies. 26 mil. 
Yeah. Have a good one, yeah? Have a good speed. Yeah. Lady Adelaide, in the penthouse one more time. Lovely, lovely guy. Thank you very much for the support for the knockout deals. Right, so as you guys know, I do uh, most of the postures in the, in the shop. I'm actually just tagging them up, get them ready to put them on show so we can actually sell them. Got six watches here. Uh, got Datejust 36 mil, Sky Dollar, uh, Batgirl, well, upside down. <laughs> Batgirl, we've got a Steel 36 mil, and a Ladies 26 mil. So we've got a Rose Gold Yacht Master here, 40 mil. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with Mike to the workshop, get it reassembled. Right guys, so we're in Farringdon, aka Hatton Gardens, covering for Fertility this week. Obviously she's gone on holiday, so hope you're enjoying the holiday because well deserved, darling. I uh, can't wait to see you back because this, I'm done with the hand runs. So we've got about three, four jobs to do today. Uh, we've got an AP that needs a, needed a stone replacement and a service. The yacht mask I mentioned earlier, that needs to be reassembled, that I polished. Uh, we also need to get a couple equipments that you guys don't, we haven't really spoke about in the, recent, uh, in the previous episodes. Uh, so you're gonna see actually what kind of stuff that we use for the polishes. They're called wheels or mops. Um, just, we'll see what happens. Hi hey guys, good morning. Uh, can we can we reassemble that, please? If I were to stick around, would you guys be able to sort that out? If you give us about an hour, if that's all right. All right, I'll pick up later then. Okay. Guys, just picked up the AP. Now we're going to go pick up the equipment that I need for the polishes. You can get to see what I actually use. Okay, so these are synthetic suede. Um, the white ones are actually made from cotton. Um, different materials, different reasons, different finishes. I kind of learned on it on the go, so my stuff was always tried and never. I'd get bit, bits of metal, try it on different compounds, different, different wheels, and see what kind of results they gave me, and then kind of took notes and actually went on from there and improved, improved it as I went along. Are you, are you using fast motors, slow motors? Are, are your spindles short, long? Are the wheels itself big in diameter, short in diameter? That will uh, affect the rotational speeds, that affects the speed of which the metal feels on the actual mop. So that all gives you different finishes. The watches ain't cheap, so you gotta make sure that you're doing the right stuff which is needed for that specific watch. Don't jump on a bandwagon and just uh, mess up a watch because it does happen. It hasn't happened to me, but it's certainly happened to a lot of uh, polishes in the garden. So this is what I was referring to with regards to different finishes. Obviously this is for satin finish, so it gives you a completely different look, which is also known as matte. Um, you can see different tools, you've got metal brushes, you've got rubber brushes, you've got plastic brushes, all gives you different types of finish. So short and sweet, three out of three done. Um, we're heading back to the office because cows away. How convenient! And Tilly's not here, so got a lot of paperwork to do, got a lot of sales to do, and I've got a lot of stuff deposits to catch up on. Yes, guys, and welcome back to our first new arrival of 2024. So to kick start this year with four new arrivals. First up, we have a Rolex 35 mil, full 18 karat yellow gold. This model you don't see too often, especially with the grey slate dial. It's absolutely beautiful combo. We have available here a 1996 model. It comes with box and a 12 month warranty with ourselves. Uh, sometimes with these older models, you can lose the papers for them. However, feel comfortable. We have done all the right checks, watch checks, etc., when purchasing this watch. So nobody feel like the watch has been stolen or anything like that. It has all been thoroughly checked through, even though it hasn't got papers. We're then gonna move on to the, my personal favorite, the Platinum Daydate 40. I'm a massive, massive fan of the discontinued version of the Daydate 40 Platinum. I'm a massive fan of the smooth bezel. I feel like that was a real standout thing that you could see see to make sure that the watch was platinum however now they do the fluted i'm not so massive on because of the fluted bezel it can now look very similar to a white gold obviously if you have the baby blue ice blue platinum dial that is a big tell to make sure that it is platinum however any other dial it could get misseen as a white gold version this one is available as a 2021 model this one is full set box papers the lot um, available at a very good price as well, considering what they, they were sort of 18 months ago. 
And finally, last but not least, we're gonna move on to two new Pateks that we've had in. We have the 18 karat rose gold 5980 on a leather. So this is the leather reference. This one here priced well below 100K. Uh, great time to get into one in my opinion. Uh, the price of these, I would say nine to 12 months ago would have been say 130, 135. So you're gonna be getting into it well below that price. I'd probably say around 50 to 60K below that price. Great first entry Patek if anyone's looking out there. Uh, I mean, I would always say an entry watch, an entry protect is going to set you back around like the 40k plus. However, this being 18 karat rose gold, you are going to pay a little bit more of a premium. Um, so hit me up if you're interested in that one. It's full box and paperwork, and we can give you an exact price on the watch. And finally, last but not least, it is the 18 karat rose gold 5711. Discontinued now. These watches in the hype were 250,000 pound. Today, you can get them well below £150,000. It is a full metal bracelet, 18 karat rose gold. Again, comes complete box and paperwork. Um, all of these watches here, you're gonna get a warranty with us as well. So feel comfortable. So that is it, guys. These are four new arrivals of 2024. We will be doing a lot more of these uh, segments in the next coming episodes. So stay posted. We will have some more 2024 watches coming in as well. So stay posted if anyone wants a brand new watch, they should be arriving soon. Um, and yeah, any of these prop watches here that you've seen that you like, if they're still available, drop me a message and we can come back to you. Torn between these two. So I'd, I'd, I'd go for that. What, what's the, the, cause I've seen a few of these, like what's the, I've seen them up at 18 at that age and down at 15. And what's the, I mean, what's the, what's, what's, it's just a market, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retail 176. Like six grand in that, which is mad. Yeah, mate, I'll have that one. Yeah, really good. Good. I've wanted it for ages, so now I've got one on my wrist. Yeah, it's taken yeah. me ages yeah. to find one. Yeah, yeah they're, not, they're not that available, yeah. to be fair. So just sold a 42 millimeter Sky Dweller with Ivory Dial, Jubilee bracelet, smart looking watch. It's actually gone for under retail. It's a lovely watch, and I'm just gonna adjust the bracelet for the new owner, and hopefully takes good care of it. Guys, I've got a stunning watch here. Ten thousand pounds and under budget. Seven thousand nine hundred ninety-five pounds. Ooh. <laughs> Guys, you're in the market. Ten thousand pounds and under. Because I've got the perfect watch for you. £7,995. Buy this brand new 2024. Did he f up walking down me? Why do you do that? So today we've just brought in our latest purchase. It's a brand new 2024 green OP 41mm. First 2024 watch of the year. It's now the 8th of January. It's lovely to have a box fresh watch in your hand. You know, it's lovely, it's unworn. Factory finish, still got a sticker on the side. Available now, 7.05, get in. We had a gentleman come in, he was after a particular watch that we didn't have in stock. He tried a few options on. Uh, he was adamant on the watch that he wanted. So he, he wanted to go for a GMT. Uh, predominantly at the moment, we've got GMTs in Jubilee bracelets, i.e. the Batgirls and the Pepsis. He was after a Batman, so we actually managed to source him one within a day. So actually within 24 hours from when he put the deposit, it's a 22 model with box and papers. As you can see, we always try our best with regards to sourcing watches. So always get in touch with us if you are interested in us sourcing a watch. Get in touch with myself, Callum or Alex, and we'll try our best to get within 24 hours. Guys, how are we doing? So today we have a new arrival. We have the Audemars PK Ultrafin Jumbo, the 15202 ST reference. Beautiful watch, navy dial, skeleton case back. Absolutely stunning, 39 mil, probably one of the best APs or stainless steel APs on the market today. Available 55495. This watch is well over 100,000 in the height, so feel free to get yourself a deal today. Hi guys and welcome back to 2024. I'm gonna start off this episode. Should we do this at the start of the episode or not? It sounds like we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi guys and welcome to 2024. So to This ain't our first episode back though, is it? <sighs> <laughs> Ready? 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 Yes guys, how are we doing? And welcome to this week's episode. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yes guys, how are we? <laughs> coffee <laughs> yes guys and welcome back to the first new arrivals of 2024 so to, so to kick <laughs> we're then going to move on to two protects that we've had come in we're going to start off first with the 5980 on a lever very very clean watch beautiful watch is he sure he's got to be he's got to be battering these got to be battering these. <laughs> Mike, got to be battering Ladies, let me see here. No, no, ladies, let me see. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and in three, two, one. Um, we're then going to finish on the Fire 11 rows. Oh, and that is it, I suppose. Um, that was a shit ending. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ready?